Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I apologise. Things got away with me a bit. I had spinal injections at the end of November, um, which put me out of action sitting at my desk for a while. And then, of course, we've had Christmas. Uh, I hope if you celebrate, you've had a nice time. We had a wonderful time. I had my son, daughter-in-law and my granddaughter here and then my husband and my um, daughter. So we had an absolutely wonderful Christmas day. Just been taking it easy since then. But I suddenly realised I had not done my selfie Memdex card for December and I want to use festive from Tracy so I've printed out um, using my sprocket a photograph of me uh, when I went out to have my Christmas coffee with my daughter I have printed out and cut using my silhouette the paper which is one of the six by four cards and I just dropped it into the shape of the Mendex card so it fills it completely and perfectly and then I've printed out some embellishments ready to actually create the Mendex card. Now what I had been doing in the past is Tracy cre um, creates a 3x4 card with the month on and I've been using that but this month she's got this lovely um, sticker in the collection um, that says December so I thought I'd use that instead. So I probably won't fast forward this very much because there's not a huge amount to put this together because I've already planned it out on my silhouette which is what I tend to do when I'm making these Memdex cards and in fact what I'll do in a minute is I'll swap over to the computer and I'll just show you how I've planned it on my computer. So what I do is I mock it up on the computer as you can see here, I've taken um, just a rectangle, which I filled with grey to be the photo. And I size that to the size of the photo I want to use. And then I grab all the embellishments that I want and just play about with them until I get them in the places where I want. These holly leaves obviously aren't actually in the places that I want at the moment. Um, but it's just an, giving me an idea that I want to add holly leaves on. And then once I've done that, um, I group that so I can move that around if I want to. Um, but I've do a copy first and then explode it out and then I can put that onto my page and print and cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is just stick on the patterned card. I have to say it makes me laugh when I do these Mendex cards because I choose all these fancy shapes and then by the time I've finished you can't even see that it's got like a tab at the top or it's heart shaped but it makes me feel good when I'm designing to start with. <laughs> And the Memdex cards I use are actually from a set by Paige Evans, which I've got. And there are four in the set and it also comes, it's a cut file from Silhouette and it also comes with a box that you can make. Okay, so that's that. Now, the photograph, um, as you can see, it's curled a bit. I find that the sprocket ones do curl a bit, but also um, I craft in my conservatory and it can be a bit damp. So what I need to do is I need to back that onto a piece of paper. And here are my scraps I've got left. I quite like that pink with the pink of the jumper. I'm just wondering whether it would be better with a bit of contrast and go with the green because there is a sort of greeny blue in there as well. Um, and the embellishments I've got. No, I'm going to go with the pink. I think I'll go with the pink. Small black line along the bottom there. So let me get rid of that. That's better. Okay, so let's stick that down. So as I'm creating this, it is the 28th of December. And we have a new collection to look forward to from, oh, I've done that wrong. Tracy coming very soon. Which you'll be seeing the sneaks of on Instagram. So that's exciting. We haven't got anything planned for New Year's Eve. We don't go in for New Year's Eve celebrating, really. What we'll end up doing is just watching TV and then seeing in the New Year and going to bed. They're not very exciting. I like that. I'm just wondering whether to double map that, put a bit of green behind it as well. I think we'll do that. I can't totally concentrate and stick things straight at the same time. Okie doke. So let's trim that down. nice yes like that okay. I want this here like this 
and I want, just glancing back over, I want that flower behind there. Uh, traditions, I want to go along the bottom. I'm just wondering if I want to pump any of it up on foam. And I think I will, but that flower needs to go behind there. So let's just put that on there. Like that. Now, some of these um, stickers are actually from the digital collection of festive rather than the sticker pack and I like to use um, I've been using these quite a bit actually on these yeah that needs some foam memdex cards it just is something a little bit different to use which I find quite fun right so let's have a look where I that just needs a bit of foam on that side it gives a slightly different look using the digital digital embellishments rather than the sticker pack embellishments and that's going to go there but I want that happy season on there as well so I think that needs to go like that and then that happy season is going to tuck under there so that can... I don't want to put that down I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background it's that time between Christmas and New Year when there's a lot of washing that <laughs> needs doing right so that's going to go down here I think ah yes that can go down there there which allows the bits of the Memdex card to still work that's going like that right then I've got the word December which I think looking back at my page yes yeah, going on top of that that I will raise up completely so let's cut a bit of this foam strip there we go over the cup there we are so it says December traditions and I've got a little hole there so I think what I'm gonna do is pop I don't know whether to pop a leaf holly leaf in there but no I don't like that okay but what I do want is to add some leaves add some green up at the top here because I've got holly leaves on this cup so I think if I pop yes I like that there Oh, I like that. And I put one there as well. Yeah. So I'm going to put one there. That's there like that. Okay, so that I have printed off that, but oh, actually, I quite like that there. Yeah, let's pop that there. And then all I want to do then. It's just add a few sparkly bits to it. So, there we go, stick that down like that. Okay, so I'm back with a few sparkly bits. I've got these enamel stickers, which I think might work. I've got, they've got some glittery in. They're a bit more solid, so I don't think I'll use those. I might put a few of these because they look like the berries. So I think we might, That's torn paper. Right, that's staying there then. <laughs> Put a little one there. And then there is a pink one there. So let's put that there. There we go. Oh, that's quite nice. Quite like that. I've got a bit of sparkle on there. I think we'll leave that like that. There we go. Clear glitter drops. Uh, lots of clear Novo drops. I always like to just grab a piece of scrap a piece of paper. And just oh yeah, it's coming out fine. So this will just give dry clear, but give dimension to that jewel there. And I shall do the same on these three holly berries here on that one. Just give that little tap underneath. That is my December selfie mendix card, which concludes my 12 Memdex cards for 2023. I'm really pleased with that. So that's using Festive from Tracy. So I thought I'd just do to finish off um, a quick flip through of all the cards I've made. And that's the box I made, which you will have seen on my Instagram feed the month that I made that. And then 
this is my collection of Memdex cards. So I'll very quickly go through them. So this was the first one I did, which I used Renewal. That was January. And I've been taking part in um, uh, Dearly D's Memdex Selfie Challenge. So each month I was creating one Memdex uh, with a selfie or a picture that somebody had taken of me. And then later on, I decided to join in with her um, challenge as well, which there was a, a theme for each month. So January was beginning. So I actually doubled up with that one. So that was... Um, the selfie and beginnings. February, the theme was love, and there's me and my little kitty. Um, and this was using Smitten. And then I also did, oh, that's the wrong month, hold on. March, ah yes. March, this was using Felicity. So I don't think the box was made using Felicity. Boxes made using a flutter, but there's Felicity to create that one. Then April, I used a flutter. Now some of these photos are faded. So say I work in, um, I keep this box in my craft room, which is my conservatory. And in the summer, um, I didn't realise that the the sun was fading these photos until I got them out today. But oh well, never mind. Then. That's April. So April, I also, um, ah, March and April also had themes. So March was pearl. Um, so I just used um, some embellishments from my stash and bits from my stash to create that one with the pearls on. And then, which is this one? April was rainbow. So I had some rainbow paper. Again, not Tracy's paper, but that was just that collection. So May, the theme was confetti. So I used some Rosie Studio there and I got some confetti bits in there and used for May. It was the Weekender collection. Um, one of my favourite photos of me this year that was taken at my son's uh, in my son's village. We went for the coronation picnic. Then we're on to June where the theme was summer. So I dug into my stash and found some summery bits and pieces. And June is also my birthday month. And this photo was taken on my birthday. And this is using Fierce. And really like how that one came out. Again, loads of the digital embellishments. July, the theme was Sparkle. So I did a little coffee cup, with, uh, sorry, coffee cup, cafetiere with sparkly paper and a bit of a shaker. And then used Moonlit to create this page with a photo taken on holiday in Hastings. Then we get to August, yes, August, where the theme was sparkle. So I used some clear acetate to create this shaker pocket, some more Roses Studio bits and pieces, sparkle for that. And then the collection from um, Tracy, she didn't release a collection in August. So I actually went back and used Ex Libris because I was volunteering in the library at the time and my daughter took a photo of me doing my volunteering. So I thought this one worked really well. Then we're up to September where the theme was um, spring or fall. And I chose fall obviously because we were or autumn. So that's where we are here and did pumpkin spice latte. And that is using the Equinox collection. And then I used Equinox as well to create my September selfie card. And that was a photo taken uh, in Frinton, we had a, a surprise heat wave at the beginning of September and I actually ended up swimming in the sea. October, obviously Halloween, so spooky. So I did a bit of a, a spooky Memdex there with some bits that my daughter brought me back from Canada. And then I used Haunting from Tracy to create this one, which is <laughs> the largest one in the box. Um, a cut file house that she had and then loads of embellishments from the Haunting collection and a selfie where I'd used a, a filter to give me a witch's hat. November was Gratitude and I used the Bountiful collection to create this shaker, which I really like that shaker. I'll use some tool over the tree there and then some bits and pieces under there. And then the selfie. This was a very digital one. I actually imported a photo into 
silhouette and create and, and in, um, put it onto this piece here and then printed that out. I love the fox in this. And then December is holly jolly. So I did a little pom pom hat and uh, jolly and joyful. That was uh, bits from Twinkle, um, Twinkle All The Way from Rose's Studio. And then obviously I've just done this one using Festive from Tracy. And so that finishes my Memdex box for the year. There we go, a nice full Memdex box there, um, which I can flick through and I've got to find somewhere to keep it now that is not in the conservatory so that I don't get any more fading photos on that. But for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to me this year if you have. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to creating more things and doing more videos with you in 2024. Thank you, happy new year, bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,